Hi, Joan here. How are you all doing today? Want to share another book with you. This one I call Intuitive Art. This was inspired by a Facebook group that I'm in called Art It Out, and the uh, artist is Crystal Kitzman. And she does very um, fluid things, uh, very um, loose, and I wanted to try to capture some of that myself, and I don't know how successful I was, but I did 50 different uh, art pages here. I use a lot of different techniques, rubber stamping, collage, line work, Some of these I know are running the other direction, but I don't think I'm going to flip this uh, book. It's rather a big book. I did stitching on here, machine stitching. I use washi tape. Collage. I did some watercolor background on this one. And I have some wonderful images. I always like to put a lot of words or phrases on things, too. These are some Tim Holtz uh, images. And a friend gave me these wonderful mushrooms, so I had to use them. This is the image that I scanned a long time ago. So I wanted to do kind of a southwest uh, theme on that one. Had to do Vincent. Stenciling on this, washi tape, rubber stamps. Really had a lot of fun with this. Did some embossing with this. And I have a really neat rubber stamp I love that has all these little tiny dots. There's a neat rubber stamp store in um, Las Vegas called Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And I got this image from them. And also, therapy helps, but screaming obscenities is faster and cheaper. Did some stenciling and then decided to do a little bit of line work around it. Added some tags, some stickers, some stamps. Did a, a large rubber stamp for the background on this one. Some more machine stitching. I see I'm off here a little bit. Try to get a little bit closer here. I think this was from The Shining. And I have these wonderful owl cutouts. And this I use modeling paste on this one and modeling paste on this one to get the raised effect. This was the very first one that I did. And I like to use um, tags and neat ribbons and yarns. This was inspired by this painting, so I wanted to do a rustic look. And this one on Vincent, uh, I did the red here, kind of blood-like, I guess, just feeling his pain. More stitching on these. Some Asian uh, designs here. This was some fun wrapping paper that I had. And this was some um, uh, papers that I did myself using stencils. Same with these, these are stencils that I cut myself. <clears throat> I 
multiple layers on these. Even added a few little uh, rhinestones here. This was a photo that, that I took on a trip and I wanted to uh, enhance it. This was around uh, Valentine's Day. This was a new little machine that I, I have that'll do cutouts. I haven't used it very much yet though. More of the Southwest. I drew the owl myself. Added some fun little uh, pop, pop eyes there. This might have been a Dina Wakely uh, rubber stamp. I'm not sure. Got to have some Frida Kahlo here. Tribute to Picasso. Use that rubber stamp again. I hope we're not getting noise here. Somebody is, uh, their gardener is working with the weed whacker there. So I hope you're not getting all the noise from that. These I wanted to look like postcards. Sorry for the angle on these. And these were from some children's books. I just love the images. And that is the end of this book. And hope you enjoyed it. And hope you're inspired.